Johnny, Johnny, where's my Johnny, 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 there he is. Four drinks, Johnny. That's no good. Johnny, Johnny, what's the problem? Johnny, Johnny, tell me, please. What about the weekend? About Sunday dinner? Starting a little early this week. Johnny, take me with you. Take your Ellie. Don't try to do it alone. It wrecks you every time. At least try to let me come and pick you up afterwards so you don't have to sleep it off there. <sighs> Sorry. It just really drives me crazy when that happens and I just know you can't stand another minute there. Johnny, Johnny, can you see me? Johnny, Johnny, I'm right here. What's this one? I've never seen you drink that before. Try it. Oh, medicine -y. It's a Manhattan. Two parts rye, one part vermouth, sweet, and a dash of bitters. Ugh, bitters is right. My dad will be working on his second one whenever I walk in. He'll still be sucking on the cherry from the first one, the stem poking out of his mouth. He doesn't bother with the orange peel or the cocktail glass. He just pours the wild turkey into a tumbler with ice, throws in the vermouth, he likes it dry, and then flicks in the bitters. For the first couple of refills, he spits the cherry out into the sink and adds a new one from the jar. By the fourth or fifth though, he just leans over the glass, lining up his shot like a bombardier, and then just lets it flop into the glass. If he makes the shot, he cackles. If he misses, he swears and grabs for it. Most of the time, it hits off the edge of the glass, tumbles over the counter, and onto the floor. He drops down to his hands and knees and crawls after it. My sister's kids squeal. And they start chasing it after her with them, crawling under the table, racing for it and crushing it under their clumsy palms. Eventually he gets tired of this game and does away with the cherry entirely. The kids don't like that though. They crowd around him at the counter, begging for him to drop the cherry bombs. He tries to shoo them away, but they just start jumping up and down, cheering, cherry bomb, cherry bomb. He grabs his glass, pushes through the mob, stumbles downstairs into his study, and slams the door. Doesn't come back out until everyone's gone home. What about this one? Try it. Fizzy. Jameson and Ginger. My mom has an exact recipe for making them. First, five ice cubes. Always five. You can actually see her lips move as she counts them out. Then, five pours of whiskey. One, two, three, four, five. five. <laughs> and then uh, one of those little cans, the eight ounce cans of Canada Dry. You can't believe how excited she was when they came out with those little cans. Before, she was always complaining about how she had to throw out the extra soda that wouldn't fit in the glass. I'd say, use three ice cubes instead of five, Mom. All the soda will fit. But nope, it has to be five. Now with the little cans, nothing goes to waste. <laughs> Except the cans. Shit, on Sundays, it's like the whole house is made out of Canada dry cans. <laughs> They got a waste basket in the kitchen for the recyclables, but she doesn't like anyone looking in it and counting how many she's gone through. So every time one of my sister's kids comes running through, she pops a can of soda in their hands. She figures you won't be able to tell the kids' cans from her cans when you look in the basket. But the kids never throw their cans in the basket. <laughs> they just take a sip and leave it on the counter or the table or the coffee table or the bookcase. My dad's bald head for Christ's sake. So my mom's got to run through the house, picking up these cans, emptying them out in the sink, 
before throwing them in the wastebasket. She's pouring 10 bucks of soda down that drain every Sunday. And it ain't even four o'clock before my dad's got to drag that basket full of cans to the garage to empty it. Wait, Zen? Try it. Wait, Zen. She brings a box of it with her on Sundays, my sister. The box starts off in the fridge. My mom saves her space, uh, space on one of the shelves for it. My sister doesn't like to let her glass go empty, or even half. So she'll keep getting up from the kitchen table, opening the fridge door and topping it off from the box. Her husband will come in and peek on her. You know, he, me and him will be in the living room, drinking beer, watching a game. He'll get up, walk over to the kitchen, pop his head around the corner and see what she's up to. He'll see her glass and say, is that a new one? She'll get all offended and, and say, it's the same glass. Stop spying on me and leave me alone. So he'll stomp back off to the couch, mumbling under his breath like, bullshit, that's the same glass. I hear that fridge opening and closing. You know, she's going to get plastered, and I'm going to have to do the driving on the way back, even though I did it coming up. Eventually, my sister gets tired of opening the fridge, and my mom complaining about wasting the cold and the electricity, so she'll move the box from the fridge to the counter. Then she'll get tired of getting up from the table, so she'll move it right beside her. And she will sit at that table with my mom for hours, topping that glass off every five minutes, bitching about how her husband never helps and her kids never let up and her boss never lets her breathe for one second. Well, what about this one? Try it. <laughs> Stop their pepper. Who the hell in your family drinks Dr. Pepper? I do. <laughs> my Johnny? No, 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 no. Not my Johnny. My Johnny drinks Bud Limes and Corona Lights and the occasional Stella when he's trying to impress a pretty bartender. But never Dr. Pepper. Not my Johnny. You're right. Uh, I've never sipped the Dr. Pepper before. <laughs> but Ellie, my Ellie... I will drink this Dr. Pepper and drink nothing but Dr. Pepper. If you will go to Sunday dinner with me this weekend and next weekend and every other rotten weekend until we finally have our own family and our own Sundays and our own dinners and we can tell everyone else in the world to fuck off <laughs> because you and me, we're going to do it right. Or die sober trying. Do you promise? Yeah. And here's to you, Ellie. My yeah. Ellie. <laughs> here's to us, Johnny. My Johnny. Here's to us. <laughs>